we'll go ahead and call uh, Marshall County special call meeting. Uh, the Marshall County Fiscal Court, November 15, 2017. The great all bid update. Uh, Wendy and I uh, got to talking about this. One of the things that we might be able to do, actually, uh, she's requesting um, the uh, Southeastern Equipment Company that had the low bid. Uh, it'll take 60 days. did the trade in that will put them down 60 days <coughs> without a great all so um, one of the things that uh, she came up with was to go ahead and move uh, forward with southeastern equipment um, ordering that piece of equipment and then 60 days will give us time to try to sell um, the piece of equipment that we have um, and if we get a better offer than company's trade-in value, then obviously we can uh, sell that piece of equipment for that value. Uh, the company said that they would remove that uh, trade-in off the paperwork. Um, and if we don't get a better value, then they would take the uh, trade-in value uh, when 60 days are up. Right. Yeah, it's just where we can go on and get it ordered. Um, they said we could use, if we use it as a trade-in, we can go ahead and use it until you know, we get the new one, but if we sell it, then online we'll have to, you know, get rid of it whenever the auction ends, if it sells that way. The biggest thing is it doesn't stop their uh, operations or reduces their operations to one piece of equipment. Sounds like a plan. That move that we purchased the Grade all on Wendy's recommendation and uh, try to market the, the other 60 day period. We've been working with um, Gov deals, but it takes a little bit longer than just getting online and setting up an account. We've had to wait for them to call us back, and then we're still waiting on another phone call from their office to get everything going so we can put it on there. Yeah, I, I talked to a lady named Sarah, I can't remember her last name, that was at the conference. Uh, uh, last week in Louisville, and also uh, an auction company that Keiko has uh, contracted with, that uh, guy named Kurt Brown, that uh, that is going to be in Marshall County at the refuse to look at a, a garbage truck that they have that's surplus that uh, is in the same situation, and he's going to make a trip, and so that would be a, uh, it doesn't cost anything for him to come, and and uh, and he'll put a price on there, a guaranteed price, and uh, and they they do more than auction in April. I think it's April with Keiko and that the information. Right, yeah, I think it was April. I'll second Doc's motion. There's a second. The purchase, or, or how are we going to do that? The, I believe it's a lease. The yeah, lease, lease. Um, on the bid, it was a lease. On a half to one and a half percent, but we're paying three percent on the lease. And if we have the dollars, it seems like a purchase would be more economical. But anyway, I don't have any problem. I mean, if you think that's the best way to go, I'll concur. I mean, that, that, it's, what, it's whatever y'all think. I mean, it's we budgeted for a lease. Um, but I mean, if y'all want to do a straight out purchase, the budgeted amount is not uh, at the purchase amount, so we would have to move some monies. But uh, it's a decision that we can we can make uh, today if you want. I mean, that, yeah, it doesn't matter. If everybody, if everybody I, want to do it, I mean, I, I really assumed well, well, that well, we well, were well, going well. to purchase it outright myself. I didn't realize we were going. We hadn't discussed that. I didn't. I wasn't aware of that. But I, we discussed that in the budget workshop. It it's, doesn't matter to me. We just have to move some monies around. Save it up. If, if we purchase it outright, then uh, the trade-in value is, is a moot point. Because then we can continue moving forward with uh, I mean, it wouldn't be all the other I options. Would, I would still consider the trade-in value in the same way. I would just make that deal with them. If we can sell it, fine. If we can't. Within 60 days, they'd give us the same trade-in. Is that not possible? 
Yeah, I mean, I can talk to them, but... I thought, I thought that's what you just said. Yeah, yeah that's... That they said. They said we could use it until our new one came in, even if we traded it in. They, uh, they accounted for extra hours on it, he said, on the trade-in. I think the 60 days is off the table. We, we can keep that piece of equipment um, and utilize all the resources available. Um, I know Keiko's got the reverse auction. There's other platforms out there that we can try to sell that piece of equipment and get how, the most money for it. How long will it take? To, I mean, we, we won't, when we order it, it won't come in immediately. Really, no, he, he said up to 60 days to get the grade off. No. Uh -uh. Yeah, I feel like if you all would like to purchase it outright, that that is something that we can work with, and we're not going to have to issue a check today. Right. Um, we'll have time to look at that and create a plan to make that outright purchase. Now, this was bid as a purchase or lease, correct? Or just a lease. I, I thought it was bid either way. I, I thought it was too. They gave, us a, they gave us a, a price. To we buy we it. budgeted for a lease. But now, as far as the yes. bid, yeah. you have to look at the. I don't have it with me either. Des, can you pull it up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> commercial break. Commercial break. <laughs> that up. That's something we might it's should only consider. Said <laughs> commercial breaks. And tell me this: if we if we move forward, about is there any is there any penalty for paying this off? If we want to go start it, to tell them to order it, and it's it's under the lease. But if we want to purchase it, is there any penalty to doing that? No, not that I know now, of. The way these bids read, they quote a lease price, but they also quote the total price, mm -hmm. which is the same. So, and I don't see anything. Yeah. Says that there's any penalty for early. I'm pretty sure they said there wasn't a penalty, but then we could go ahead with this just like it is, and then and then decide later if we if we want to purchase purchase pay pay it outright. Here's here's what we put out um, price with a trade in and without a trade in. Trade in will be a 2007 XL 3100 grade all must bid with seven-year monthly payment lease option. Yeah, include a... Yeah, that's what okay. I thought. Yeah. I think you... I, I think you probably advertised it because based on the bids, that's a either or two. Yeah. Then we can, we can decide later if we want to do something different. I don't have any problem with that. Okay, so the original motion... I think was to move forward on the on the lease. So is that what yes. we're doing? Yes. Pay out. Okay. There was a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. This is a um, uh, resolution, uh, board of directors for road department, truck lease. Uh, this is for the actual Chrysler um, capital. So they need a resolution on our vehicles that we ordered a month ago, two months ago. Two months ago. He, he did text me this morning and said they have a delivery date of anywhere from now to next Tuesday. Okay. So he's expecting them any time. Um, so they need, the, the corporation needs a resolution um, they, they've sent this resolution. Uh, I'll just read it. Uh, uh, it's going to be the fiscal court hereby certify that I am the assistant. Oh, well, hang on a second. Uh, this is from Chrysler. I hereby certify that I am the assistant secretary of Chrysler Corporation, duly organized and existing under the laws of the state of Kentucky. And that the following resolutions were duly adopted at a meeting of the board of directors of said corporation. Wait a minute, this is their resolution. It's going to be uh, 
uh, I guess it would be I, Judge Executive Kevin Neal, hereby certify that I am the uh, Judge Executive of Marshall County, duly organized and existing under the laws of the state of Kentucky, and that the following resolutions were duly adopted at a meeting of the fiscal court uh, held on this date, at which meeting there were present and acting throughout a quorum authorized to adopt said resolutions, that the proceedings of said meeting were in accordance with the charter and bylaws of said corporation. Jeff, have you seen this? Uh, yeah, just looking at it. it we're not we have to draft our own or? Yeah, well, yeah, we can do our own. Yeah. I'm going to do it right now. Okay. Because that's theirs. I was a little confused. We're, we're not a board of directors, are we? No. No. Basically, it looks like at the end of the day, it says it. You can sign for these trucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It just needs to be, it needs to be drafted to, uh, to fit right. us. Exactly. Yeah. While he's doing that, won't we move on uh, to the Morris County Sanitation District Board appointments? Um, That's for the uh, uh, ordinance we just passed. It's a five member board. Uh, basically, I've, I've, picked Randy Green, Bob Turner, Kelly Wilson, Ricky Searles, and Alan Beard. Those are the five uh, board members. They're existing board members of both districts. So they're familiar with um, what's going on in their districts. So there's two from Senate, they're existing board members. There's three from Sanitation District 2 and one and Two from Sanitation District One. Uh, two from District One and three right. from District Two. Right. Yeah, that's what I said. I know four of the five of them have got all the competence in the world. Uh, I think this is a good move to consolidate mm -hmm. and uh, have the confidence that they can help right the ship and get a business plan together that will return the monies that we're loaning them on their behalf. So I move that uh, we accept the judge's recommendation. I think you second. If I'm not mistaken. I think the ordinance is the ordinance. I think it just says uh, appointment. I don't think there's any action needed from the fiscal court, but we can check. Can you pull that up? And check. Just to well, be if we correct. Do need it, you got it. We'll double check yet. Okay, so yeah, so we had a motion to approve 
Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. The opposed? Motion carries. All right. I would suggest this uh, resolution of the Marshall County Fiscal Court <clears throat> be it hereby resolved by the Marshall County Fiscal Court that the following resolutions were duly adopted at a meeting of the Marshall County Fiscal Court <clears throat> duly held on November 15th, uh, 2017, at which meeting there were present and acting throughout a quorum authorized to adopt said resolutions that the proceedings of said meeting were in accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Kentucky and that said resolutions are duly recorded in the minutes of the meetings of the Marshall County Fiscal Court. Be, uh, be it resolved that the Marsh County Fiscal Court has entered, has entered or will in, enter into one or more commercial lease and or retail installment sale finance agreements with a licensed motor vehicle dealer who in turn tends to assign them to Chrysler Capital, whereby the, the Marsh County Fiscal Court will receive credit and or lease accommodations in connection with the purchase and or lease of motor vehicles. Be it resolved that in accordance with these documents, the Marsh County Fiscal Court may assume certain credit and or lease obligations to Chrysler Capital in connection with the credit extensions provided by Chrysler Capital and that these and other actions taken by the Marsh County Fiscal Court in connection with the credit documents do not violate any laws of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Be it resolved that the Marshall County Judge Executive is hereby is here author, hereby authorized and empowered to sign on behalf of the Marshall County Fiscal Court the credit documents and any and all other documents necessary or require, required by Chrysler Capital in connection with the credit documents and from time to time to perform all such other acts and things deemed by him or her necessary, convenient, or proper to carry out, modify, or supplement the credit documents or any other such agreements and arrangements made with Chrysler capital in connection with them. Uh, this resolution uh, uh, proposed this the no November 15, 2017. And if that's the language. If uh, if it's approved, I'll submit it to the clerk for some Final modifications. <laughs> we just need a motion on that uh, so that that's for the uh, dealership, so they can submit that back to Chrysler. I'll make that motion. Okay, second. Second. All these, all those in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, the next thing we got is executive session for land acquisition. Need a motion to go in executive session. Motion to go in executive session to discuss land acquisition. Second. All those in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? Motion carries. All right. We'll go ahead and call this court back to order. Uh, regarding the executive session with the land uh, acquisition, uh, with further discussion, we had uh, tasked Jeff uh, uh, to follow up more on that piece of property. Uh, and I believe next fiscal court meeting uh, we'll be discussing it. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Would you, uh, on the issue with the road? That was just an update. Just an update. Yeah. Okay, there was no. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've already got the. Everything. You're able to sign it if he. If that's what we. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that was already handled. And it's already been handled. Yeah. Whatever issues came up. Okay. You're going to have him sign the waiver then. Okay. Okay. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries.